in Google Drive. You just have to click this one, then choose Drive, then click New, then choose Folder. Then you have to name your folder. Now why do we need to create a folder? Because this is where we're going to put everything that we need to use such as the soft copy or the template of your e-certificate, Google Forms, and the Google Sheets that are generated from Google Forms. Next, for the second step, create a template for your e-certificate. You can create a template using Google Docs or other platforms such as Canva, Microsoft Word, or PowerPoint. For the third step, put a tagging on your e-certificate template. Now, there are times that whenever we upload our file on Google Drive, the layout or the template is being altered. Now, to make sure that the layout of your e-certificate will not be altered, you have to convert it into an image or photo. Then after that, you have to create a blank Google slide inside your folder. Now, inside the Google slide, Upload the image of your e-certificate template. You can resize the slide so that it will match the size of your image. How are we going to resize it? Just click File, then choose Page Setup, then choose Custom. So from here, you can adjust it, the size of your slide. Then after that, you can now insert a text box for the tagging. In creating a text box, we must consider the length of the name of your participants. So we have to adjust it. Then we can now put the tagging. Make sure that the text is at the center. You can change the font style and font size. Just make sure you consider the length of the name of your participants so that no matter how long their name, it will still fit in the e -certain. Then, change the file name of your Google slide. For the fourth step, create a Google form. Of course, you have to create a Google form wherein your participants can sign in for their registration or attendance. You can create Google Forms directly inside your folder. Or if you already have Google Forms or you want to reuse your previous forms, you can make a copy of that form. Just change the file name. As you can see, this is a fresh Google form with zero response. Now you have to move it inside your folder. So as you can see, it is already inside your folder. For the fifth step, Generate Google Sheet from Google Forms. Once generated, this spreadsheet is automatically placed inside your folder. For the sixth or last step, automate your e-certificate using Autocrat. Now, how are we going to do that? You just have to open your generated Google Sheet, then click on Extensions. Then from there, choose Autocrat, then click Open. Or if this is your first time to use Autocrat, the first thing you need to do is to download it. You need to open your Google Sheet, and from there, click Extensions. Then click Add-ons, Get Add-ons, then choose Autocrat, and click Install. Now, once installed, you can now see Autocrat on your extensions. 
Let us go back to our Google Sheet. Now you need to click Create New Job. Then name your job. Click Next, then choose your template from the drive. So this is the template that we created a while ago. You just have to select it. Then number three, map source data to template. As you can see, this is the tagging that we put on our template. Then on this side, we need to match the tagging from the Google slide to the Google Sheet column. Then number four, name the file that will be sent to your participants. You can choose a general file name for all your participants or you can customize it by putting the name of your participants by using tags. Then, we have to change the file type to PDF so that they cannot edit the file. Then, we need to choose multiple output mode. For number 8, you are asked if you want to share document or send it via email to your participants. Of course, we need to check yes because we want our participants to receive the e-certificate right after they answer the Google Forms. Share docs as PDF. Allow collaborators to reshare. It's up to you if you want to check this. Here, you can put the email address of your participants manually. But if you have hundreds or thousands of participants, it will be more easy if you're going to use tags. Just click the panel or this side of panel then choose email, then paste it here. In that way, all the respondents of your Google Forms will receive the email and the e-certificate. Then type in the subject of your email. Then here, you can write the body of your email. You can also use tags so that it will be more personalized. Now for the last step, you have the choice to run the job automatically or manually. Run on from trigger means the autocrat will create and share e-certificate upon Google Form submission. So as soon your respondents click submit, the e-certificate is immediately sent to each participant. Run on time trigger means autocrat will create and share e-certificate at the designated time perhaps at the end of the webinar. Now, if you prepare to run the job manually, meaning you want to manually give the order for Autocrat to run, select No for both of these options. Now, if you're already done choosing your job triggers, click Save. Now, as you can see, we already have existing job. If we choose No to the job trigger, you can run the job manually here. Just click the display button. Then if you want to edit, you can do so. You can also preview the job details here. And if you want to delete it, just click this button. Now let us try answering the Google Forms and let us find out if we will receive the e-certificate